Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation by His Holiness Jaya Patakaswami Maharaj on January 3rd, 2021 in Sri Dhammayapur, India. <laughs> Hare Om Sat 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 A continuing with the compilation of the Sri Krishna Chaitanya book Continuing with the compilation of the Sri Krishna Chaitanya book I tell this and I will This chapter is entitled as Faith in Mahaprasada Displayed by Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya Chaitanya Charita Mahakavya the Lord stayed some days and then decided to go to the south. Going with all the devotees together, they walked and chanted the Lord's name. Going for some distance, the merciful Lord then bid farewell to all of them. On the road, a Brahmana named Gopinath offered respects to the Lord. Seeing a book, of prayers in his hand, the Lord affectionately took it. The devotees following him then arrived around. But when they all left, the Lord, after walking for some time, sat comfortably under a tree and, taking out the book, scrutinized it for a long time in joy. The Lord went through the book and saw one poem by Sarva Bhoma. In that poem, he saw the word Krishna. Seeing that word, the Lord, out of intense prema, became thrilled and fell on the ground. Tears washed his body and he did not move. Having fallen on the ground at the base of a tree and wanting to give Mercy to Sarvabhuma, the merciful Lord lay there for the rest of the day and the whole night. In the morning he woke up and very disturbed, a choked voice said, I have made a great offense to the great devotee Sarvabhuma. He then left that place. How can I reject him out of bewilderment and pride and tour the holy sites? I will return to Puri and serve him. He is a great soul. I will do nothing except serve him. Saying this, the ocean of mercy arrived in Puri within a prahara. One prahara is three hours or four dandas. One prahara is three hours or four dandas. Oh, and eight praharas is one day. Eight prahara is one day. Or twenty-four hours. Or twenty-four hours. Sarvabhuma sent a servant to bring Gopinath Acharya. The servant quickly arrived and spoke to Gopinath. The servant sent, said, O Acharya, Lord Chaitanya is coming here. Gopinath said, You must be telling a lie. He has joyfully gone to the south. We followed him and then at a great distance left him and came back. Why would he suddenly return? The servant then replied, repeatedly said, I am telling the truth. Quickly Gopinath approached the Lord, seeing the Lord with joyful heart. He spoke with astonishment and affection. O oh Lord, why did you go and why did you come back? The Lord with sparkling teeth and red lips, sporting with words filled with sweet rasa, spoke. 
O Acharya, I have committed a great offence to Sarva Bhauma. I have given him up. I have given him up out of pride and desire to go to pilgrimage. He is a great soul, a form of the Lord, delivering the three bowls. He performs pure actions, for from his mouth one nice, faultless verse containing the name of Krishna has arisen. Therefore, I must serve him. This is my service to the Lord. Thinking in this way, though I left, I have returned from the pilgrimage. So how merciful is Lord Chaitanya? So how merciful is Lord Chaitanya? Yeah. Sarva Bhuma wrote a poem where once the name of Krishna was mentioned. Sarva Bhuma wrote a verse and one name of Krishna mentioned. Then he wants to come back. And then he wants to come back and serve him. And serve him. Lord Chaitanya is so merciful. Lord Chaitanya is so merciful. So why? So in our previous acharyas and preaching the Sankirtan movement. By serving previous acharyas and uh, Sankirtan movement. Serving the Sankirtan, san- serving the Sankirtan movement. And how much though Lord Chaitanya might be to us. How merciful Lord Chaitanya must be to us. All wise. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all wise, our previous acharyas. All glories to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all glories to our previous acharyas. Hearing those most unfathomable words, the essence of the srutis and smritis, which should be heard, the Brahmana Gopinatha suddenly smiled, showing his shining teeth. See the act, acts of the most merciful Lord compassionate to the miserable people who can understand his inaccessible glory inaccessible inaccessible glory we are just insects see the mercy given to sarvabhoma by the greatly merciful lord who desire to make the universe full of mercy this mercy cannot be obtained attained by brahma's life sarvabhoma famous among all knowers of Vedanta, devoid of any trace of bhakti, by chance mentioned Krishna in a verse and became the object of your mercy. What foolish person would not worship this greatly merciful Lord? (laughs) Rejecting all his faults, accepting a small good quality in a person, He shows mercy. What should happen to the person who does not mention the name of Krishna? I understand that now you will give the greatest mercy to Sarvabhoma. Hearing his words filled with the rasas of astonishment and enthusiasm, the Lord said, Do not speak like this, O great soul. I should simply serve him. Saying this, he passed the day, and at the night of, at the end of the night, he rose from bed to see the dawn. With the devotees, he performed his nitya kriyas. Chaitanya Charitam. Ek din pratyushe prabhur poshad anno sangraha. Ar din prabhu gela jagannath darashane. Darshan Karila Jagannath Shudjasthane Early the following morning, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Sri Lord Jagannath in the temple and he saw the Lord rise from his bed. So, he saw the Mangalarti of Lord Jagannath. So, he saw the Mangalarti of Lord Jagannath. And uh, he was greatly blessed. Like this. So he was greatly blessed like this. By this first darshan of Lord Jagannath. By this first darshan of Lord Jagannath. Chaitanya Charita Mahaprabhu. Putting on his lower cloth 
and a cloth around his waist. Eager to chant the name, the Lord entered the temple, like the autumn moon appearing on sunrise mountain. Standing behind the Garuda Stamba, like golden pole, he gazed at the crown jewel of Nilachala as steams of tears washed his body. Chaitanya Chaitanya Jari Aniyamala Prashadana Dila Prashadana Malapaya Prabhu Harshahila. The priest there presented him with garlands and prashadam that had been offered to Lord Jagannatha. This pleased Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very much. Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Watching the worship till the offering of incense and accepting very attractive Mahaprasadam, then he went outside. Bhattacharya Grihe Agamu Shei Prasadannamala Anchale Badhiya Bhattacharjer Ghare Aila Tarajukta Haya Carefully tying the prasadam and garlands in a cloth, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu hastened to the house of Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya. The Lord went to see Sarvabhuma at his house. Sarvabhuma by chance had not risen from his bed at the dawn. Bhattacharjir Prakitir Purvei Prabhudat Bhattacharjir Prakitir Purvei Prabhui Prabhudatto Prashat Sanna Purunadai Kale Hoilo Pavuragomon Se Kale Bhattacharji Hoilo Jagaron. He arrived at the Bhattacharya's house a little before sunrise, just when, when the Bhattacharya was arising from bed. A servant, seeing the Lord, was about to go to wake him up. The Lord stopped him and went into the bedroom. As Sarvabhoma was turning over, the Lord heard him utter Krishna's name instinctly and felt spontaneous, unlimited happiness. was taking the name of Krishna, gave Lord Chaitanya unlimited spontaneous bliss. Lord Chaitanya heard. Lord Chaitanya heard. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya chanting Krishna's name. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya chanting Krishna's name. And because of that, he felt spontaneous, unlimited bliss. Because of that, he got spontaneous, unlimited bliss. How important it is. How important it is. We are little Krishna conscious. We are little Krishna conscious. Chaitanya Charitamrita. Krishna Krishna is put up ahi, Bhatta Charja Jagila. Krishna Nam Shuni Prabhu Ananda Badila. As Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya arose from bed, he distinctly chanted Krishna Krishna. Lord Chaitanya was very pleased to hear him chant the holy name of Krishna. Chaitanya Charita Mahaprabhu. Sarvabhoma, the best of Brahmanas, then awoke and saw beautiful Gaurachandra, the crown jewel of sannyasis. Gauranga. Gauranga. With his mind in confusion, he rose from the bed and in joy offered respects to the Lord. They spent some time in great joy discussing various topics. Bahire Prabhu Ruteho Pailo Darshan Aste Baste Ashi Koilo Charanavandan. The Bhattacharya noticed Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu outside, and with great haste he went to him and offered prayers unto his lotus feet. Bhushite Asandhya Duheto Vachila. Prashadanna Khuli Prabhu Tarhate Dila. The Bhattacharya offered a carpet for the Lord to sit upon, and both of them sat there. Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu opened the prasadam and placed it in the hands 
of the Bhattacharya. So remember, Bhattacharya had no time to wash his teeth or take out his disposition from bed. Remember this, Bhattacharya had no time to brush his teeth, bathe, or he just arisen from his bed. Lord Chaitanya gave him prasadam. Lord Chaitanya gave him prasadam of Lord Jagannath. The merciful Lord, a great portion of rasa for all people, pulled from the border of his cloth some prasadam and held it in his lotus hands. Offering the prasadam in his hands like a desert tree holding powerful medicine, he said, After performing your nitya kriyas, please eat this. Then he gave him the prasadam. Prasadam no paya bhatta charger ananda hoila. Snan shantna dotto dhavo jodda pina koila. At that time, the bhattacharya had not even washed his mouth nor had he taken his bath or finished his morning duties. Nonetheless, he was very pleased to receive the prasadam of Lord Jagannath. Vishnu Chaitanya Kripai Jaddo Nash Chaitanya Prasade Munir Shab Jaddo Galo E Sholok Pori Anno Bhaktana Kodila by the mercy of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the dullness in the mind of Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya was eradicated. After reciting the following two verses, he ate the prasadam offered to him. Apratito prasad sanmane palakai vicharbhav padmapura sushkang parijyo shitang bapi nitang ba durodeshato Prapti matrena bhakti bang natra kala vichari. The Bhattacharya said one should eat the Mahaprasadam of the Lord immediately upon receiving it, even though it is dried up, stale, or brought from a distant country. One should consider neither time nor place. Nadisho niyo mastatra nakalo niyo mastatatha. Prapta mannang drutang shishti bhattabhang hari abharabhi The prasadam of Lord Krishna is to be eaten by gentlemen as soon as it is received. There should be no hesitant hesitation. There are no regulative principles concerning time and place. This is the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. These verses are quoted from the Patma Purana. I can see Lord Chaitanya was testing Sarva Bhattacharya. We can see Lord Chaitanya was testing Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya. Giving him Krishna Prasada. Giving him Krishna Prasadam. Although is that you can take after your performing your morning duties. Although he said uh, you can take after performing your morning duties. Sarva Bhattacharya called these two verses from the Padma Purana. Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya quoted these two verses from Padma Purana. And immediately ate the prasadam. And immediately ate the prasadam. And then we may have many times had the same type of food. But Krishna Prasad or the deity. We may have had the same type of food, but Krishna Prasadam is very special. Since it is the mercy of the Lord. Since it is the mercy of the Lord. Standing up, Sarva Burma quickly took the Mahaprasadam in his hand with great desire. If one delays on receiving Prasadam, what use is all one's acquiring acquired knowledge? Saying this, he immediately put the prasadam in his mouth. 
while his hair stood Hello! the tender heart 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 lord with great joy embraced him in his arms <coughs> and became blissful sarvabhoumer sarvabhoumer prasad sanman darshane prabhur paramanando o prem bhare ubhayer nitya dekhiya anandito hoilo mahaprabhur mon prema bishto hoya prabhu koila lingan sri chaitanya mahaprabhu was very pleased to see this he became ecstatic in love of godhead and embraced sarvabhoma bhatacharya dui jane dhori dui he kareno nartan prabhu bhitto doha sparshe doharo phule mon the lord and the servant embraced each other and began to dance simply by touching each other they became ecstatic hello शेत कम्प श्रुदुहे आनंदे भाषिला प्रेमा विष्ट होया प्रभु कहिते लागिला as they danced and embraced spiritual symptoms manifested in their bodies they perspired trembled and shed tears and the lord began to speak in his ecstasy both breathed heavily cried and perspired while their hair stood on end the lord and sarvabhoma were satisfied with hearts inundated in the ocean of bliss with eyes lost amidst flowing tears with bodies lost in the hair standing on end they experienced extreme paralysis because of bathing in the river of prema सार्वभौमेर उद्धारे प्रभुर आत्मगौरव आजी मुंजी अनायासे जानी नु त्रिभुवन आजी मुंजी करिनु वैकुंठ आरहन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु सेड टुडे आई हैव कॉनकर्ड द थ्री वर्ल्ड्स वेरी इजीली टुडे आई हैव असेंडेड टू द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड परपोट बाय श्री प्रभु The goal of human perfection is stated here in brief one has to surpass all the planetary systems to the of the material universe pierce through the covering of the universe and reach the spiritual world known as vaikuntha loka the vaikuntha lokas are are very variegated spiritual planets situated in the lord's impersonal body effulgence known as the brahma jyoti one may aspire to elevate himself to the to a heavenly planet within the material world such as the moon the sun or venus but if one is spiritually advanced in krishna consciousness he does not wish to remain within the material universe even in a higher planetary system rather he prefers to penetrate the covering of the universe and attain the spiritual world he can then be situated in one of the vaikuntha planets there however the devotees under the guidance of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu aspire to reach the topmost spiritual planet known as goloka vrindavana the residence of lord shri krishna and his eternal associates all chaitanya was expressing how He was feeling such ecstasy that he felt he had reached the goal in Vrindavan. Lord Chaitanya was expressing that how the devotees reaching the goal of Vrindavan. Yeah, that should be the goal of all devotees. That should be the goal of all devotees. We see the great ecstasy of. Pure love of Krishna. But we see the great ecstasy of pure love of Krishna. That Lord Chaitanya was experiencing and distributing. That Lord Chaitanya was experiencing and distributing. And material happiness and nothing in comparison. 
this spiritual bliss and material happiness <coughs> is nothing in comparison with the spiritual bliss this is the special mercy that is divine grace is exalted in us as only power and previous acharyas how to stir it this is the special mercy that is divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad and the previous acharyas distributed hari hari aji mor purna hoilo sarva sarva abhilash sarva bhumer hoilo maha prasade bishwas chaitanya mahaprabhu continued i think that today all my desires have been fulfilled because i see that sarva bhuma bhatacharya has acquired faith in the mahaprasadam of lord jagannath sadhavari so have such faith in the mahaprasadam of lord jagannath of the series so devotee should have such a faith in mahaprasadam of lord jagannath and the deities and say how this is so much satisfaction to lord chaitanya so we see that this gave so much satisfaction to lord chaitanya sarvabhoumake prabhur ashirvad aji tumi nishkapate hoila krishna srai krishna aji nishkapate tuma hoilo sadai indeed today you have undoubtedly taken shelter of the lotus feet of krishna and krishna without reservation has became become very merciful toward you aji she khannilo tomar dehadi bandhan aji tumi chinna koile mayaro bandhan my dear bhatacharya today you have been released from material bondage in the bodily conception of life you have cut to pieces the shackles of the illusory energy the sars law on a straight rational demonstration of your krishna bhakti by small by, by small demonstration of practical krishna bhakti one is also please bhar chaitanya Please, Lord Krishna. One is able to please Lord Chaitanya and please Lord Krishna. Of that, that material bondage is cut. That met so that the material bondage is cut. Aji Krishna prapti jogo hoyilo tomar mon bedo dharma longhi koyile prasado bhakon. Today your mind has become fit to take shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna because surpassing the Vedic regulative principles you have eaten the remnants of food offered to the Lord. Everybody has their particular conditioning. Everybody has their particular conditioning. And Sarvabhama Harshaya has a very strict Brahmana. and sarvabhuma bhatacharya was a very strict brahmana so he his as those were strictly following the vedas his principles were strictly following the vedas so then he took prasadam then he took prasadam without following his vedic principles without following these vedic principles i rather the bhakti principle following after the bhakti principles principle of pure devotion principle of pure devotion that gave lord chaitanya immense pleasure that gave lord chaitanya immense pleasure he said sorry i want to try to receive krishna bhakti so he said certainly sarvabhuma bhatacharya received krishna bhakti they were in this world and they had a lot of conditioning people in this world they may have different conditioning and uh, i say that someone is a vegan say someone is a vegan and then some lalu or prasad the deity is given to them say uh, 
they get a laddu prasad or barfi prasad from the deity is given to him it is made from raw product maybe which may be made from the milk product and because this krishna prasad but because this is krishna prasadam i take it anyway they take it anyway things like that things like that or your knowledge of krishna as precedence or your social clusters so things like that take precedent over or your devotion to krishna your devotion to krishna takes, takes precedence over precedent. social custom precedent over social custom gets krishna special mercy gets krishna special mercy krishner prati nishkapat sharanagato bhakteri maya mukti shrimad bhagavatam er 2 7 42 भगवान दयोदेयनमश्रित पद यदि निर्वाल्यलिकम ते दुस्तरमती तरती चेवमयांग मम हमीति सृगाल भक्ष when a person takes shelter of the lotus feet of the supreme personality of godhead without reservation the unlimited merciful lord bestows his costless mercy upon him thus he can pass over the insurmountable ocean of nuisance those whose intelligence is fixed in the bodily conception who think i am this body or fit food for dogs and jackals the supreme lord never bestows his mercy upon such people or put by shila prabha the supreme lord never bestows his benedictions upon those fixed in the bodily conception as krishna clearly states in the bhagavad gita 18.66 sarva dharman parityajya mamekam saranam vacha अहं त्वां सर्व पापे प्यो मोक्षयिष्यामि मासुचः अबॅंडन ऑल वैरायटीज ऑफ रिलीजन एंड जस्ट सरेंडर अनटु मी आई शाल डिलीवर यू फ्रॉम ऑल सिनफुल रिएक्शंस डू नॉट फियर द वर्स दैट चैतन्य महाप्रभु कोटेड श्रीमद् भागवतम 2.7.42 एक्सप्लेन्स द मीनिंग ऑफ श्री कृष्ण स्टेटमेंट कृष्ण बेस्ड आउट हिज कॉस्टलेस मर्सी अपॉन अर्जुन just to get him out of the bodily conception this was done at the very beginning of the second chapter of the bhagavad gita 2.13 where krishna says dehinosmin yata dehe kaumaram evvanam jara in this body there is an owner and one should not consider the body to be the self this is the first instruction to to be assimilated by a devotee if one is under the bodily conception he is unable to realize his true identity and engage in the loving devotional service of the lord unless one become one, one comes to the transcendental position he cannot expect the costless mercy of the supreme lord nor can he cross over the vast ocean of material nuisance lord krishna confirms in this in the bhagavad gita 7.14 mam eva ye prapatyante mayam etam tarantite without surrendering unto the lotus feet of krishna one cannot expect release from the clutches of maya the illusory energy according to shrimad bhagavatam 10.32.32 maya vadi sanyasis who falsely think of themselves as liberated from the clutches of maya are called vimukta maninaha actually they are not liberated but they think that they have become liberated and have become narayana himself although they have apparently realized that they are not the material body but spirit soul but they nonetheless neglect the duty of the spirit soul which is to render your service to the supreme soul therefore their intelligence remain unsanctified unless one's intelligence is sanctified one cannot apply it to understanding devotional service 
devotional service begins when the mind intelligence and ego are completely purified mayavadi sanyasis do not purify their intelligence mind and ego and consequently they cannot engage in the service of the lord or expect the costless mercy of the lord although they rise to a very high position by executing several severe austerities austerities and penances they still hover in the material world without the benediction of the lotus feet of the lord sometimes they rise to the brahman effulgence but because their minds are not completely purified they must return to the material existence the karmis are fully under the bodily conception of life and the gyanis although theoretically understanding that they are not the body also have no information about the lotus feet of the lord because they overly stress impersonalism consequently both karmis and gyanis are unfit for receiving the mercy of the lord and becoming devotees narottam das takura therefore says karma kanda jnana khanda kevala vishera banda those who have taken to the process of karma kanda fruitive activity and jnana kanda speculation on the science of transcendence have simply eaten from poisoned pots they are condemned to remain in the material existence life after life until they have they take shelter of the lotus feet of krishna this is confirmed in shrimad bhagavad gita 7.19 bahunam janmanam mante gyanavam maam pravatyate vasudeva sarvam iti samahatma sudurlabha after many births and deaths they he who is actually in knowledge surrenders unto me knowing me to be the cause of all causes and all that is such a great soul is very rare all the causes given by lord chaitanya so the process given by lord chaitanya is transcendental is transcendental because it depends on taking shelter of the lotus feet of krishna because it depends on taking shelter of the lotus feet of lord shri krishna following the teachings of krishna following the teachings of krishna gita and bhagavatam gita and bhagavatam chanting krishna's holy name chanting krishna's holy and name worshiping krishna. and worshiping krishna so naturally one who follows lord chaitanya so naturally one who follows lord chaitanya achieves the highest spiritual perfection achieves this highest spiritual perfection bhattacharya jada jada abhiman tyag eto koi mahaprabhu aila nijo sthane she hoyte bhattacharya khondilo abhimane after speaking to sarvabhoma bhattacharya in this way shri chaitanya mahaprabhu returned to his residence from that day on the bhattacharya was free because his false pride had been dismantled sarva bhattacharya had been very proud of his great learning sarvabhoma bhattacharya had been very proud of his learning but after receiving the mercy of lord chaitanya but after receiving the mercy of lord chaitanya the false pride was Dismantled. His false pride was dismantled. After that, he became a humble After devotee. After that, he became a humble devotee. Chaitanya Charita Mahakavya. In this way, the Lord controlled the best of the best of Brahmanas by the rasa of His extreme mercy. Sarva Bhauma's heart became completely filled with the rasa of His mercy. his great pride van vanquished from that time onward sarvabhoma was attracted by his body mind and words to the lotus feet of the most merciful gauranga oh gauranga so i see how lord chaitanya gave his special mercy on 
So we see how Lord Chaitanya gave his special mercy on Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya. And his pastimes very very auspicious. This pastime is very very auspicious. Thus ends the chapter entitled Faith in Mahapra- Mahaprasada displayed by Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya. Do you like our ad-free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. And don't forget to like and share our channel.